Hello, good evening. Greetings, everybody. Uh, this is the uh, 19th episode of the Mobuku Chronicles. And um, today or tonight is uh, Thursday, February the 21st in the year 2013 AD. And this is the second anniversary of the inception <coughs> of the Mabuka Chronicles. And as I have said often enough, but bears repeating, if this is your first time watching and listening to the, the Mabuka Chronicles, then you really need to start at number one, which was uh, put up on the YouTube back in uh, February of 2011 AD. Because in that, I, I mean, the whole purpose of the Mobuka Chronicles is to lay out a step-by-step -step strategy for emancipating ourselves from the madness that's going on. And tonight I am going to talk about the uh, symptoms of this madness in more detail than I have done hitherto. So, I don't want to have the music too loud. Um, the title of this uh, episode is Everything is Broken. And actually, that's the title of a Dylan, a Dylan tune, Mr. Bob Dylan, that came up, or was, shall I say, was released um, in 1989. And I'm just going to try and find the lyrics to it. The song is called Everything is Broken. And it was released on an album by the name of Oh Mercy, which is a great album. You know, if you haven't heard it, I suggest you pick it up. It's uh, available. And here we go. Let me just find the, some of the lyrics to this song. So we set the tone for tonight's dissertation that I am going to give you. <clears throat> All right, where are we? Uh, come on, I don't want that. Back, back. Yeah, because I said is um, what I'm going to be discussing is the um, the symptoms that indicate everything is broken as there's been uh, some very important um, developments taking place in recent in recent uh, shall we say days and months that are important to know about and I'm going to be going over those in a little bit but I just want to quote some lyrics here. All right, everything is broken. By Mr. Bob Dylan, the great troubadour of the late 20th and early 21st century. All right, so here's the, well, I'm going to choose just one verse here. 
the last verse. Broken hands on broken plows, broken treaties, broken vows, broken pipes, broken tools, people bending, broken rules. All right then, so I suggest you get that album and listen to it. Now, what I have here, a kind of a summation of what I'm gonna be going over, a few pages here. I don't know whether you know who Chris Hedges is. Anyway, he's been in the news lately. If you follow certain blogs, you can, you can Google him, Chris Hedges, H-E-D-G-E-S. And here's a quote from him. We now live in a nation where doctors destroy health, lawyers destroy justice, universities destroy knowledge, governments destroy freedom, the press destroys information, religion destroys morals, and our banks destroy the economy. And here's another quote. The CIA owns everyone of any significance in the major media. That's a quote from the former CIA direct, CIA, Central Intelligence Agent, Agency director by the name of William Colby. All right, so here, this is mainly, most of this stuff comes from the latest uh, newsletter, the hat trick letter put out by Jim Woody of Golden Jackass. Dot com and I've mentioned him many times before and uh, I highly recommend you subscribe to his newsletter so here's one of his um, echoing what Chris Hedges says broken monetary policy broken financial structures broken US economy broken government spending controls broken US dollar stewardship broken households broken alliances the ultra-low official rate coincides with a gargantuan, toxic United States Federal Reserve balance sheet. The sign of systemic failure is evident for all to see. And here's another story that he brings up, which I saw on another, on another website the other night. Many of the largest U.S. retail chains are closing hundreds of stores. They contract, contradict emphatic, emphatically the propaganda or even, of even a slow, stubborn U.S. economic recovery. What is occurring is a relentless deterioration with accelerated collapse in recent months. Before the end of this year, hundreds of marquee name retail stores will shut down. Names like Sears, JCPenney, Best Buy, and Radio Shack. Circuit City is already dead and buried. Even the sturdy Walmart is in trouble with falling sales, sure to shut down underperforming stores later this year. Walmart described internally the February sales as a complete disaster. Just another unmistakable sign that the U.S. economy is degrading and falling apart right in front of our eyes. Incomes are declining, taxes are going up, costs are rising everywhere, food and fuel are more, and the U.S government dependence, that it means people dependent upon the U.S. government, is at an all-time high. The labor force is shrinking despite the distortions in the data sent over the airways by the paid shill talking heads. The large disposable incomes that the big rate retail chains have depended upon in the past simply are not there anymore. So retail chains all over the United States are now closing up unprofitable stores. The stampede has begun. It will feed on itself since workers will be shed and they in turn will spend less. Okay, now we go over to silver. Record silver eagle coins were sold in January. A rationing program has begun in response to metal shortage. A much higher silver price would solve the shortage, not permitted. In other words, the uh, price of silver is suppressed at least currently and has been for a long time obviously now uh, he goes on to say 
Meanwhile, the U.S. Mint raised prices on silver for coins with a premium over the spot silver price. The implication is it admitted higher silver price. So he goes on to say, despite two production shutdowns in January, the U.S. Mint sold a record-breaking 7.13 million silver eagles in only 10 business days in January. As a result, the U.S. Mint has resumed rationed silver eagle sales. The prize coins can be obtained from allocation and rationing. In the following few days, the Mint sold another 300,000 coins to make a 7.4 million, 2 million count for the partial January month. <coughs> the public has bought almost half a billion in gold and silver coins in January. Their distrust of money is patently clear. So, that's the silver thing going on. And uh, I have more to say about that later. Now, he goes on, this is a, he has a, he has a source in London by the vo name he refers to as The Voice. And he says here, the voice is a sage or warrior, not old in years, younger than the jackass by one year, with great experience and an impressive Rolodex. He has foretold many events as they have unfolded. He's been very reliable over the time. This Jim Willie refers to him quite a bit. And uh, it, uh, he has been very, shall we say, prescient. His entire tone has changed in the last few days and months, last few months rather, as events are hurtling out of control for the diabolical bankers, who are referred to as devils, you know, spawn of the devil by many commentators that I read. They are surrounded and depleted, left only with weapons to destroy the system further, including themselves. He wrote recently, there are many things coming to service now that will make people's heads spin. Today the top guy of the largest Italian company was arrested at defense contractor Finn Mechanica. In Greece the top governmental statistics guy is about to go to jail. In Spain the entire government is about to be brought down on corruption charges. The new CEO of Deutsche Bank is under severe pressure to explain derivatives and might be forced out. A number of top bankers are about to go down for serious bond fraud and other financial violations. Once some of those guys are taken to the chair in the basement, they will sing like canaries to save their hides, taking many of their buddies down with them. With the Pope's resignation, all is possible now. The psychological effect is like a nuclear bomb with far-reaching impact. The days are over when you can squeeze people's gold from them by decree. The power boys are on their last leg. Some of them remain unaware. Know this yet. It is like two tires blowing up on your Porsche Carrera driving at 220 miles per hour. Days later, the voice resumed his line of encouraging discourse. He mentioned how many crucial developments are unfolding on a global scale, simultaneously. Many have pressed him for a timetable of a major event. He makes clear that a time window is impossible to define. It could happen next month or the month after, maybe even next week, since major structures are breaking down in important ways right here, right now. A great acceleration is evident not present a year ago. He expects with certainty that it will happen quickly, hitting the markets with full force. The impact will not just be to the financial markets, suddenly and unexpectedly. The impact will be shocking for almost all of humanity. As tremendous shifts take place in the wider assortment of marketplaces throughout the, the world, the end of the dollar age is coming, and with it will be a more balanced barter system which will cut out the deadbeat nations of the world, most of which are developed nations, I might add. 